Hi there, here we are, episode three of our old hickory series. Now what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna show you how to do some useful notches uh, out of the sticks that we batoned out of that sapling from the last video. So the first thing I wanna show you with our medium sized stick here is how to make a tent stake. Now, first thing you wanna do is you wanna take the end that you're gonna pound on, whether you're using a hammer or a rock, whatever you have to use to pound this in the ground, you're gonna just shave off a little bit on the sides, the whole way around that top part of the stick. Now, this is gonna help when you're pounding on it to keep the stick from splitting out. The other thing you wanna make sure is that the top of your tent stake is nice and flat. So when you're hitting on it, you're not hitting it at an angle or anything else, you're hitting it straight down. Now on the other end, the end that we're gonna pound into the ground, you don't need to sharpen this the whole way to a point. What you're gonna do is actually make it look like one of those little fat pencils they used to have in elementary school. And whenever it needed sharpened, you know, it was kinda came to a point, but it wasn't a sharp point. That's kinda what we're gonna do with this. So, that's what we have right now. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to put a couple notches in this to put our string around or a rope or whatever to hold it up. So, we're going to need our baton for this. Now what we're going to do, you're going to come down from the top, from the part that you're going to pound into the ground, you're going to come down about one and a half to two times the diameter of your stick and you're going to make a straight cut, a 90 degree cut down into this and you're only going to go about a third of the way down into it. So we're just going to tap it. We're not going to hit it real hard. Okay. Now the next cut we're going to make is on a 45 degree angle. We want to cut it so that it comes down in to the, to the part where we had the 90 degree. And what's going to happen? We're just going to twist our knife a little bit and we're going to pop that notch right out. Now this just needs a little cleanup work here. Just kind of get it shaved down a little bit. If we need to, just you know, tap it with our baton, get that piece out of there. Okay. So, here's what we have. We have a nice tent stake. Remember, it doesn't need to come to a real sharp point. It's just gonna break off when you pound it into the ground. Uh, you wanna keep your top flat and you wanna cut some off of the sides so that it doesn't split when you're pounding in the ground. There's what your notch looks like. Okay. Now the next thing we're gonna talk about is the log cabin notch. This is a useful notch for like when you're making shelters or when you need to hook two sticks together. If you just leave them like this, even when you lash them, they're still going to be wobbly and they're going to roll around on each other. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut some notches in these and then they won't be as wobbly and they won't roll around as much. Now for these notches, you're going to want to cut them probably about halfway down through. Basically, when you're doing this, you want to pick two sticks that are pretty close in size. You don't want, you know, one little stick and one big stick. So your notch is basically going to be half of this diameter of the stick that's going to sit in the notch. And you don't have to do it all in one cut. We're probably going to do a couple cuts here. And then the other thing is you're going to make a cut on the other side of where the stick's going to go about the width of that stick. Now these are pretty big th sticks here, pretty thick sticks that I have. So I'm going to cut down in the middle of this notch here instead of trying to pop it all out once. And you see, you just pop it right out of there. Like I said, you don't have to do this all in one hit for each notch.
And you can see, depending on how thick your stick is, they do pop out. They're just a little harder to get out. So you might need to do some fine tuning here with your knife. And just cut those down in to the depth that you need. And your old hickory can handle this. So here we have one notch, I might need to fine tune it a little bit once we get the other notch in the other stick. What I'm going to do, I'm going to speed up a little bit here, uh, you already saw me make that notch, no point in watching me make this one too. So here, here we have our two notches. Just need to make this one just a little bit wider here. You're probably going to need to do that when you're doing it. You're not going to get it perfect on the first try. But that's the same with everything you do out in the woods. That's why you need to practice is so that it when it's time when you really need it that it's not your first time doing it and not your first try so the more often you can get out there and practice the bushcraft skills the more ready you're going to be if you ever need them so you can see we have a nice fit on the notches not too much wiggle there and once we lash them up they're going to hold and they're going to be really strong. Okay, we have one last quick notch here to go. What we're going to make is a toggle. A toggle is useful for holding things on. It's, uh, you can put a loop in a piece of string or a piece of cord and then put your toggle through, pull it tight and it'll hold. But then when you want it out, all you have to do is loosen up a little bit, pull the toggle off and there you go. No knots to untie or anything else. So. Like I said, real simple notch. I just pounded at a 90, or at a, sorry, I just pounded at a 45 degree angle, both ways, met in the middle, about a third of the way down, and there you go, you have yourself a nice toggle. You need to clean it up a little bit in the end, go ahead. Uh, we're gonna actually use this, I'm gonna do a little bonus video where we're gonna use our tent stake and our toggles, and we're gonna put up an emergency shelter. And that way you'll be able to see just how to use each one of these and each one of these notches. Okay, well, that's it for this notch video. Uh, we have another one coming up where we're going to use our kindling that we batoned out in the last video. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Okay, before we go, I want to remind everyone, if you're out in the woods camping, practicing your bushcraft, whatever, you should leave it like you found it. Nobody should even know you were there. So have a great day, and we'll see you for the next video. Mm -hmm.